Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli. In this video, we are going to understand how to add Microsoft Power BI records from Webhook response. So here my objective is that every time I have received the response from any application that is not directly integrated with Pabli Connect, in such a case, I can use this module, which is Webhook by Pabli. This helps in integrating different applications that support Webhook by providing a Webhook URL. And the moment I receive this response, then automatically I want to add this response as a record in dataset in Microsoft Power BI, which is a great tool for creating visually appealing reports, charts, graphs, etc. So that you can, you know, send these visuals to different applications that you use every day and further analyze the data. Now to do this, we'll have to integrate these two and we can do the same using Pabli Connect. So here my trigger will be this module which is Webhook by Pabli and my action application will be Microsoft Power BI. Now to understand how you can integrate and automate this entire process yourself without the need of any coding skills, let's begin. So this here is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and you can reach here by clicking on the link which is given in the video description. On the right hand side, there's a tab create workflow. So here you have to click on this and this dialog box has appeared here. You have to name your workflow. So you can give any random name. I'm going to name it as per my objective which is to add Microsoft Power BI records from Webhook response. Here I'm going to click on create. And as we do that, here we have reached another window which has got extremely important events. One here is trigger, another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically action here is the automated response of your trigger application. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. So every time you want to purchase something and you swipe your card, then you get a response on your SMS about the amount debited. Now, how does that happen? With the help of automation. In such a case, your trigger is the payment gateway and your action application can be any SMS sending application. Now, in this particular use case, my trigger will be Webhook by Pabli. This is a module. So that helps you in integrating applications which are not directly integrated in Pabli Connect. So this provides us this Webhook URL and we have to just add it under the Webhook section of the application we are willing to integrate with. Now I'm going to copy this and let's assume that Pabli Form Builder, this application is not directly integrated in Pabli Connect. In such a case, what I have to do is I have got this form. This is a contact form. So here on the left hand side panel, I have got integration. I'm going to go here, create a webhook and the webhook that we have just received, I am going to paste the same here and save. And you can see that I have set up a new webhook and then I'm going to go to dashboard once again. And here is the form. Now, what is it asking me to do? So the moment we have added the webhook URL, we have to do a test submission so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response. So I'm going to do a test submission now. So let's say that the first name is smart. The last name is user one. Then this here is the email address of the person. Here we have the mobile number and then let's say the city here is Delhi. Now here I'm going to click on submit. So the moment we have submitted, let's go back to Pabli Connect to check if we have received the response and yes, we have captured the webhook response successfully. So this means that this webhook has been set properly. So here we have received the ticket ID, IP address, submission date, then we have the first name, last name, email address, mobile number and location. Now, what do I want with this information that I have received? I want to record this response in a data set in Microsoft Power BI. So here I'm going to choose my action application as Power BI. This here is the application and the action event here will be to add rows in specific data set in group. So this I'm going to select and now let's click on connect. So here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with Microsoft Power BI account. Since I'm setting up this connection for the first time, I have selected add new connection, connect with Microsoft Power BI. So here we have to choose an account. Now here permissions are requested to access. So I'm going to click on accept. 
This is absolutely secure, so you do not have to worry about it. And as we do that, here we can see that the authorization has been successful, which means that Public Connect and Microsoft Power BI account are properly integrated. Once the connection is set, then here you can see we have to enter the group ID, data set ID, table name and etc. To understand this, let me take you to my Microsoft Power BI account. This here is a dashboard. Now here you can see I already have created many groups. So I'm going to take you to Pabli testing. Now within this, we have got different data sets created. Now here we are going to create a new data set. Let me explain you how you can do that. So we have to go to this new tab and here we have the option of streaming data set. Let's click on this and we are going to choose the source of our data, which is API. Let's click on next. Now here we have to name our data set. So I'm just going to write demo data set. And then here we have to enter the values from stream. So basically, what are the what is the information that I need? I need the first name, last name, email address, mobile number, and then I also need the name of the city. So this is the information that we have just received with the help of the webhook response. So here what I'm going to write, I'm going to write first name. Okay, then I'm going to write last name. Here I'm going to enter email then we need the mobile number and then i also need the name of the city here you can enter as many values as you wish to and now simply click on create and then click on done so here you can see we have created demo data set now once we have done that here i'm going to click on the three dots go to edit here we have historic data analysis i'm going to toggle this towards the right and turn this on and finally click on done so once this is done, going back to Pabli Connect, here we have data set ID. I'm going to quickly refresh this. Now, as I click on this, here we can see we have demo data set. So I'm going to select this. Now, here you can see that the table name has automatically been populated by the system. So let me show you the same. Let's go to Microsoft Power BI and here let's go to demo data set. So here I'm going to click on create report. Now you can see that this here is the real time data. Now as I click on this, so here I'm going to expand all. Now these are the fields that I wish to be added to the table that I wish to create. Now as soon as I click on first name, so you can see that has been added here. Then let's add the last name. Then we have the mobile number, email address and city. So all these values have been added here. Let me have this on focus mode so that you can see this clearly. Okay. So these are the values that have been added. Let me take you back to Pabli Connect. And here we have to enter the table specific row objects to be added. And these row objects are to be added exactly in this format which has been mentioned here. So I'm going to copy this, paste the same here. Now here you can see these are the values. So I need the first name, last name, email address, mobile number and the city. And we can pass multiple comma separated rows objects for multiple rows to be added. So what I'm going to do here is the first thing that I need is the first name. Remember that it has to be written within double inverted commas. So here I'm going to put double inverted commas and I'm going to write first name. Close this with double inverted commas, put colon. And then here I'm going to put double inverted commas once again, separate this and then again double inverted commas and I'm going to write last name. And then here close this, put a colon and double inverted commas. Then we need the email address and here I'm going to delete this. Okay, next what do we need? We need the mobile number. So here instead of price, I'm going to write mobile number. And now here I'm going to delete this as well. Put double inverted commas instead of date. I need city so I can write location city. And now I'm going to delete this as well. OK, so we have got the first name, last name, email address, mobile number and city. Now we have to map the values. How do we do that? So I have got all this information in the previous step. So this here is the previous step and this is the response that we have received. Now I want to enter this information here. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to click on this and this here is the first name. Now let's go to last name again. I'm going to click in between the two double inverted commas. This here is the last name. 
then let's enter the email address using the same process and here we are going to enter the mobile number so this here is the mobile number and then we need the name of the city so this here is the name of the city now remember this is exactly the same method with which you have to specify the objects to be added in your specific row and now i'm going to click on save and send test request so as we do that here we have received the response according to which this application has processed and now we are going to check if this information has been captured by our table let's go and check our microsoft power bi account and here we can see that we have received the data in our table now you can build this visually appealing using these bar charts graph charts etc now let's go back to Pabli connect and let's check the same in real time to do that i'm going to take you back to Pabli form builder here i'm again going to open the form and let's fill up the information so let's say the first name is new the last name is test user this here is the email address here we have the mobile number let's say the location this time is mumbai here i'm going to click on submit and as soon as the message has been submitted, let me take you to my Microsoft Power BI account. And here as I refresh the page, you can see that I have received the new details as well. So this is how you can integrate different applications with Microsoft Power BI and then you can create interesting visually appealing tables and then analyze the data. Now let's go back to Public Connect and understand what we have done. So here our trigger was this module by Pabli which was webhook. The event was to capture webhook and our action application was Microsoft Power BI where the event was to add rows in specific data set in group. You do not have to set up this integration again and again. This is just a one time setup and then every time you receive a new response then automatically the rows will be added in a specific data set in the group. So I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Public Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.